Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about how I make my Masetta. So if we look over here, I have 556,000 Masetta and I'm basically going to be walking you through what I do every single day in order to make Masetta, starting from the easiest things and then moving forward to the more difficult or more time consuming things later. Okay, but first of all, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I always do when I log in is very simple. You simply just complete all of your daily missions because they do give a little bit of Masetta. Now your dailies are mainly used to get EXP because it gives a big chunk of EXP. As for the actual Masetta it gives you, it's not much, but it's still something. What you really want to focus on is of course the weeklies. The weeklies are the ones that give you a lot, a lot, a lot of Masetta. And in the end, when you complete all the tasks, that is 500,000 Masetta. That is a ton of Masetta, very, very important. Just do your weeklies every single week because you can't pass up on that 500,000, especially if you're fully free to play because we don't have many options in order to make money very easily. So that is your number one priority. Your number two priority is we are going to look for alpha reactors. So what I'm going to show you now is I'm simply going to teleport over here to the cliffs area and there's literally going to be an alpha reactor right at my feet. How do I know this is because I have a handy dandy little cheat sheet next to me which tells me where they spawn. You see these are alpha reactors. You literally pick them up and goes yoink goes into my inventory and then we go to my material storage and we type alpha. You can see right here alpha reactor I have three of them and they can be sold for a lot of money. So for one of them, you see I can make 3,500 Masetta for each single one. And it just so happens there's a very handy tool on Twitter. I know a lot of you guys don't like Twitter. You don't need to follow, you don't need to do whatever. You just save the URL. The URL will be in the description below. Let me hop over to my second monitor so you see what I'm talking about. But you can see right here on Rappy Burst. So uh, the link is right here. It will also be in the description below. What you want to do is you want to scroll down and you'll see this map over here with the alpha reactors which they post every single day and this is 49,000 new Masetta every day because all of these alpha reactors respawn every single day during daily reset however the positions of the alpha reactors are different every single day um, I have no idea how they know where all the alpha reactors are but I am very thankful for this map now make sure to check the date and make sure that the date is the correct date and that way you can collect your alpha reactor super easily super painless you simply port around the map and pick up all of these alpha reactors all right now once you have all of these alpha reactors you're simply going to go convert to cash all of them boom you see that's 10,000 over here. All right, that covers all of the easy stuff. So the first one is do your weeklies. The second one is do your dailies. And the third one is collect all of the alpha reactors. Now, by doing the dailies and the alpha reactors every single day, you'll make a bare minimum of 50,000 Masetta. Simply by roaming the map and collecting all of those things, it shouldn't take more than 30 minutes. Now comes the difficult part. You can do the one-time thing and collect all of the red containers if you want. I'm extremely lazy, I just don't care about that. But if you do go out of your way and collect all of the red boxes, you do make around 500,000 or a little bit more, which is a good chunk of money, but it is a one-time thing. Now the thing that I do the most in order to make most of my Masetta is I grind. So as we know, there are three combat zones. We've got Rezzle Forest, Vanford Laboratories, as well as Mount Magnus. Now, which place is the best place to grind? For me personally, I like laboratories the best. The reason for this is simply because laboratory is just easy to navigate. The thing I don't like about Mount Magnus is there's too much elevation, so it's really annoying going up and down, up and down, up and down, and it's very time consuming. Now, the thing I don't like about Rezzle Forest is Rezzle Forest is very convoluted and especially when you're fighting the dragon or Nex, sometimes he gets stuck in a wall or in a tree or something and you can't hit his weak spot and it just kind of wastes time. While in laboratories, all of the mobs are relatively simple to kill. They don't do anything too crazy. Sure, you have the Bujin. Sure, you have the little manta ray squid thing that flies around. But at least they don't get stuck in walls or anything. So it's not too difficult. That is just my personal preference. If you prefer 
Mount Magnus, or if you prefer Rezzle Forest, or if you're farming for specific gear and also making money at the side, then you can choose whatever area you want. It's purely personal preference here. So what I've realized from farming laboratory runes for like, I don't know, I want to say at least 40 hours now, is I make on average 1,000 meseta every minute. How do I know this? Is because every hour I make roughly 60,000 meseta, and then I sell all of the loot. So what I do with the loot is I simply press I, I click on whatever item, and I convert to cash. I convert all of my items which are below 4 star rarity to cash. Now for the 4 star rarity items, I look if they have a fixa. If they have a fixa, I keep it. If they don't have a fixa, I sell it. Um, there is one exception to this and those are resurger weapons So if we look at my storage over here and I go by rarity You can see that I have a bunch of resurger weapons You can see I have a Vialto spear over here because it has a fixa so I'm keeping it You see I have a forest dagger I'm keeping it because it has a fixa But other than that if it is not a resurger weapon I sell it off immediately Now as for the gold prim swords I always keep them And then as for the silver prim swords I always keep them as well You can see here that I have an ex extensive list of uh, silver prim swords up uh, and this is there's this a lot of silver prim swords as for units themselves i only keep the two star rarity ones with the fixa it's honestly there's no real reason behind this it's just easier for me to manage um, you can sell all of your two-star rarity armors if you want But the reason why most people like to keep the two-star rarities is because they feed it into each other But if you play as much as me and you grind like an ungodly amount What you can do is you can skip that and just save the four-star rarity armors and feed that into each other um, It's up to you personal preference for me. It's because I use the Vialto armor so if I use the Vialto armor and I feed Vialto armors into it, it gives the Vialto armor additional EXP, which allows me to enhance gear a little bit faster. However, if you're not using Vialto armor, then maybe you can just vend it off. But, uh, you know, it doesn't sell for much. It's 65 meseta. It's not much at all. So vending off all of your trash loot is a very, very small sum of money. Usually I make like an additional five to 6,000 just from selling all the loot. And another thing is I don't stop grinding until my drop storage. You'll get a message saying your drop storage is almost full. That is the only time where I will stop and then clear out all of my inventory and convert everything to cash. So it usually takes about like three minutes where I'm standing still not doing anything. And once everything's been converted into cash and everything's put into my storage, then I continue grinding again. It usually takes about an hour to fill up my inventory and the drop storage. Now another tip I have, but I don't exactly know if this is true, is that when there is a PSE burst, when you kill mobs fast enough, I believe it extends the PSE burst. The faster you're able to kill all the spawns that the PSE spawns, the longer it extends the timer. That's what I feel because there have been times in laboratories as well as in Mount Magnus where my PSE burst literally lasts for two to three minutes and we're just wondering like where's the climax and we literally just keep killing mobs endlessly and collecting loot which is awesome because we're using the loot and we're converting it all into cash and when you kill mobs you make a little bit of meseta I believe it's like 10 to 20 meseta or something but that is not the meat and potatoes of your meseta gain. The main reason why I'm able to uphold this 1000 meseta every single minute is simply because of all the T's and the E's. The target quests as well as the emergency quest. I, I don't exactly remember what they stand for. But the T's and the E's, when you complete them, you get rewarded 1000 meseta. So you're literally beelining to the T, you kill everything, you go to the E, you kill everything, you rinse and repeat and you're just beelining to it and just ripping through everything and blasting through everything super duper quickly. And that is why I prefer laboratories because it's really easy to navigate around this area while Mount Magnus is sometimes a little bit annoying because it makes you jump all the way down to the mountain and then you have to hover all the way back up and it's a little bit time consuming. Rezzle Forest is okay as well. I'm just not very familiar with Rezzle Forest's uh, terrain at the moment. So for me, I definitely prefer labs. I'm most comfortable there. And more importantly, the Vialto armors drop there. So as you can see here, I have a Vialto armor over here with Fixa Enthusia 2, which increases my offensive PP regeneration. And I also have another Vialto armor here with Fixa Natural Level 1, which increases my natural PP recovery speed by 2%. However, 
what I'm actually farming for is for Vialto armor with a Fixa guard level 5, which gives me 5% damage reduction, and I want 3 of them. That way I have 15% damage reduction just right off the bat. And remember that the Vialto armor also gives 1% over there. So it's actually going to give me 18% damage reduction. And that is just crazy. But, you know, obviously the chances of it dropping a level 5 Fixa and it has to be a guard Fixa is very, very low. It's like almost impossible. But for me, since I farm there so much, you know, I think I have a fighting chance. Maybe it might drop. I did get those daggers after all, so who knows? But that is why I farm labs. And that is basically how I make the bulk of my money. I literally just sit in laboratories and I farm there for three to four hours every single day. And that gets me a little bit of Masetta. That gives me around 200,000 to 300,000 Masetta. Almost 300,000 if I farm for four hours. 200,000 if I farm for three, that's for sure. Um, and that's how I make my money. I just slowly accumulate this. It is very mind numbing and you have to be patient and you have to enjoy the combat. For me, I'm fine grinding because I enjoy the combat that much. For me, it just kind of feels like I'm playing Diablo. You know, you're just grinding for gear. You're just grinding for loot. You're grinding for money, whatever. It's not a big deal for me because I find it super therapeutic and my uh, battle power is a little bit high. So it's kind of funny one shotting all the trash mobs. Um, that also helps quite a bit. If your battle power is extremely high, you can just kind of rip through all the mobs and kind of laugh at them, and it's really, really funny. And if you get all your armors to plus 40, like literally the mobs barely hurt you. They do like 10 damage, and it's really funny. So that is something that you guys can also look into if that's your jam. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!